Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> now, if you were on the top, that'd be a perfect 369. Try. I was, oh, I was at the top? I thought I was on the top. Well, you are, oh. but. <laughs> All right. Well, a kid just came in. He was like almost three. He just stood up right beside me. And then he's, and I was like, did you just poop? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta go. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> Okay. So I invited Ramayan, uh, but it doesn't look like he's uh, he's coming. He didn't get back to me. Hi, Hi Laura. Hi. You look really How are you? fun. We I look what? You look really fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was just telling that little kid that I like to have fun. And I'm fun. All right. This house is pretty fun. <coughs> My friend John's place. He's got random things everywhere. Oh, interesting. Yeah, cool place. There's my dog. Whose place is it? My friend John. John McVitie. So, mm -hmm. do, you, do you have any leads for your new place? No. Really? No, I, I don't like it. But I'm I'm trying to manifest something amazing. Right. Every day, I just I pretend that it's not actually happening. Maybe, maybe it won't happen. I'm gonna get a hold of the rich lady and tell her that. Um. Tell her that she should give me a house to live in. Well, no, I'll ask her. Right? Jordan, Lara has been recently evicted. We're all in, uh, we're all not in the best of, we should make a goal for in one year or in three months or six months or nine months or, um, we should get a mansion, nice big mansion. Yeah. Well, that's what I was like, going to ask the, I was going to ask the rich lady that already. See, this is already an emotion. See? Okay. <laughs> uh, so what about tomorrow crazy. What? yeah i just said um tomorrow at four we need to do a needs analysis level of excitement hmm. needs analysis um, yeah yes. I'm just clicking my pen. Um, maybe um, find out what what the level of commitment is for everyone, Something like that. Okay, good one. Um, and what we if should... I was thinking, what, what do people do? What do we do if we're people who don't show? And and sort of finding out, I guess, from a team point of view. <laughs> people that don't show won't show. They won't get all the amazing. But do they, but they, do they come back the next week? No. Oh, oh, oh. Like, um, oh. Well, that's the thing. I think, Kilo, dude. <laughs> Um, well, I think that's that we'll figure that one out with a level of excitement. So, get this dog here. Kilo, let's see what. Sit. Sit. Nothing to worry about. So, attendance as a gamified category? Hmm? Attendance as a gamified category, then? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I think it's yeah if you're going to be if you're attending it and we find out like what the level of commitment is and how excited they are about it or, or 
find out where, how we're going to get on the same page. If they don't show, then they don't show. Then we can invite new people that are wanting to be committed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Just see, like I read plank or anything and get off the ship and you have been banished to the black hole. <laughs> I don't that. I got excited. I thought, what are my roles? So I, do we need the plank yet? <laughs> no, we don't need the plank yet. <laughs> Who wants to leave the ship? <laughs> You're already manifesting someone leaving the ship. <laughs> yeah. uh <-huh. laughs> well, maybe, and that's also beginning to look at the roles, like do we, because if you're coming in as captain, <coughs> I mean, part of the part, part, part of what has to happen is to share the new configuration. We haven't even talked about that. We're already in, captain's already taken over the same. <laughs> this is what we're doing. I've been telling everyone I have a promotion. <laughs> I've had an a an promotion actually. Well, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll set I'll send it to everyone first, so it's something they have to deal with. If they have to, like I think everyone is going to be fine, but you never know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you never know. Um, <laughs> well, we had. Like we had 10 people last time. Is that the, the crew that you're talking about? In, yeah. In terms of, and what's the membrane of like, like permeation? Where, how flexible can people come and go in terms of meeting consistency? Well, that's, that's another thing to decide. Like, we don't even know what kind of team it is. It was brought together sort of impromptu, brought together through a couple of, you know, the little software program that's being created. And then uh, Greg with a, Greg's got a portal to some other game. And he's basically said that I, I'm supposed to be the first guy on there. And then there's 24 places. And I think 300, like there's a, um, he's got his own game. <laughs> That's, I don't know, quite as comprehensive as my own, but definitely he's another originator. And so he's coming like a wizard going, okay, I've got this portal over here. And why do we bring some people together? And then I had the software system coming in and, and uh, Nova was asking, are there any people like he's been, he wants other interactions with other people. Uh, and we're building, you know, that's the beginning of the inflow matrix as a software program. And so mm -hmm. he, he's sort of like right now, he's sort of like the IT manager. And so there was that. And then there was Greg coming in and it felt enough for me to put out the call and go, okay, well, let's see if we can get some people together and looking at the end of the cycle that it, it just seemed the timing was right, but I, you know, there was only six hours notice. So usually when I do such things, no one shows up in any way. And this time 10 people actually answered and the 10 are, you know, people all, all who are very sort of close, close to me. Okay. They so, actually showed up. Yeah. Um, and they keep will, they will. <laughs> as long as it's, yeah. Believe, believe it. Just believe it. Um, okay, so yeah, well, there's a whole bit. I thought, um, I thought this was about the very secret plan. Well, it could be, I mean. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, well, then maybe it's a good idea to just get, um, maybe do a divination for the group. Um, yeah. And then I think maybe, do you know if everybody's done like the, um, the five things and put them in the right spaces. The five you communication know. spaces, Matt. Well, that's well, that's now. It depends on how long this meeting is because we're going into, um, like, if you don't do much else and you do one map, you can get a group of people to do something in in an hour. But if you're bringing in the needs analysis, the level of commitment, the level of excitement, that alone would probably take all the time up, right? Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, I think uh, it could be like a thing you could do it on your own afterwards. Everybody can get the map and do it. And I could give you know it could be given as homework. Definitely at the end, yeah. given as homework. Sounds like work. Um, as an map, opportunity. Magical map number one. Yeah. 
Yeah. I like it. I'm sure if you ask, it's very different from me asking her. Yeah. What would be really great is if we can build off that in the next meeting. So regardless of whether the person can attend or not, their work is something that's a building block for the team to utilize. So almost like if you're going to assign homework, that's it's like that's a cool thing, but have like that homework gets passed on and somebody actually utilizes that, like that's actually a resource for them to create the next homework piece with or something so that every every piece, it's not just kind of like just in your world, it's actually your world is actually being sampled and utilized for the next pieces ongoing. And, and that way, even if you can't make a meeting, your presence is still in, in the flow of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. Yeah, for sure. Mm hmm. Yeah. So something that people can do. And then once that's done, we utilize it in the next meeting, basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we may think about going over an hour, maybe an hour is not not enough time. Mm hmm. Depending, right? I mean, yeah, we could get really good. We could get really concise and streamlined. I mean, if everybody shows up, knows what to do and knows their part and, and we're facilitating with maps like ahead of time, people can look at the invitation to the meeting, right? We could have like an invitation go out that can orchestrate, like here's the order of, uh, you know, how we're going to orchestrate the time and, and the roles, right? Then we mm -hmm. could really, you know, settle in, get into business, like, and just have, have it like information be going back and forth. And, um, you yeah, know, we could really, sync it up to an hour i think okay. that would be mm -hmm. timeline if we could operate that efficiently well mm -hmm. i what, what i could do is uh i mean take what we come up with here and put it on that one hour session planner and really a little buddy show up. So, <laughs> i see you right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but i want to play with those guys <laughs> I'll see you soon. His <laughs> dad's carrying him completely upside down. He's like, he's crazy. This kid is like climbing on everything. He's awesome. He just fell backwards and he just didn't cry at all. He just picked him up and he was like, moved on. <laughs> Went and grabbed a cookie. He's like, like all these brothers and sisters, and he's just. He's a wild little kid. He's great. Um, except he pooped right beside me. Like I'm pooping. <laughs> Thanks, kid. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I want to do that to someone. I'm pooping. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I'll be wearing depends if I did that. Don't worry. Um, very relaxed. It sounds like a very relaxed uh, relationship. <laughs> to be the worst experience for someone. Uh, anyway. Okay. Yeah. And then maybe just ask people what they um what they do see. What they what's the best possible outcome. Okay. Yeah. And what about you, Jordan? What do you think we should have in here that would build some team synergy? Get from the get. -go. So we have ten people that we're expecting at this next meeting. If everyone comes back, no one else has been invited. Yeah, uh, kind of missions and games, gamified missions, basically, and then maybe interacting with team members or your community or yourselves. And we could not necessarily all together. We can like have a, you know, basically uh, like the icky guy, you know, that one, like your, uh, your, um, uh, what the world needs, what you can make money at, what you love doing and what you're good at. 
Right. You know, for instance, that's a great card. If we could like, if everybody were to do that, that's some type of document that if, if we could bring to the table and then that's a, that's what I was talking about, like a building block. If we're building team synergy um, in our direction, like to have like a, a block that just clearly identifies everybody's um, uh, viewpoint of themselves, I guess, in terms of how they're, of, the, of their passion and what they have to offer and what they're showing up with. Uh, then we can, yeah, and put that into maps. We can create games based on like utilizing that information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too. Just like I put down here, like what do we specialize in? What are our gifts? Um, yeah, like our strengths and weak strengths and weaknesses. If we need any, if there's any one that needs help with things. That's good to address maybe to you or just like how to, yeah, who who's working with who at the beginning kind of thing like that, I thought too. Cause I bet like, I don't know. Cause there's the, there's the website stuff that's happening. And then there's, uh, what's his name? Gra uh, Graham or what's, is that his name? Greg? Okay. Uh, Gregory. Greg, you, you're working with him with another project of his. Yes. Uh, and well, pretty much everyone who, who is there, I'm working with in some way. And mm -hmm. I think that uh, going off what Jordan said, that perhaps the missions can start out looking at everyone sort of, everyone has a base mission that is theirs, that is related to their work. Yours might be spinning mini. Uh, Jordan's year might be hotel death spiders. It might not be all of your work, but a specific thing that you go, okay, this is going to be my primary project in relationship to this group. And so hmm. each, each person outlines what that is. Also kind of looking sort of through the understanding of if you all share the same operating system to, you know, the, the inflow matrix to kind of connect it in your own and then to the larger whole. So what this is, is a synergy wheel bring individuals together and looking at your gifts and looking at your, you know, the, the particular things that are in your life right now, and then go, okay, well, how do we connect them together as they are? So that everyone is sort of getting the strength of each person's focus, but then, mm -hmm. but then finding, okay, like if you're using the, the operating system, figuring out and like this, walk, talking it through in front of people, like making it media. Yeah. We're adding, elements and layers as we go but it's 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 as jordan is saying we're adding building blocks that at some point is really connecting the info tech together in a certain manner and connecting it together in our mind so we're sort of linking our conceptual universe to how we're designing our media and jordan has a very sophisticated system for doing so and you're on the ground level you know with the parking lot and a retail space which is very specifically different but, you know, I'm looking to bridge those worlds in some manner. Yeah, I would like to get to a space where like, and this is a great exercise to be able to facilitate something, get people to really utilize <laughs> your maps and cards and see how I can take that and use, use that for the general public eventually, right? So I need to like do some troubleshooting and see it all. Yeah, integrate it and see how it all works, right? And how I can, yeah, just gotta well, try it. I mean, one thing Jordan's told me is that he's he's all ready to go, but he needs you know other people to work with, you know, in, in a very sort of sophisticated way. And because you know the inflow matrix, that's a starting place to go. Okay, well, how can we organize? You know, uh, uh, Lara wants to do the spinning mini news and she wants to do different media projects and Jordan can help perhaps with either filming or directing or integrating like the very secret plan at some point is a web TV show, right? Which is putting together all these different pieces and showing the world, mm -hmm. hey, here's the plan, here's the people, this is what we're doing, very secret plan. Um, and mm -hmm. hopefully bring some humor in at some point or uh, so Jordan is probably going to, you know, he can slice things from this thing we're doing right now. He can, oh. you know, there's a no limit to once he gets going, when he gets going, 
but he it's it's like you're providing more of a feminine direction you know you're providing more of a new paradigm okay well how do we bridge the worlds um and i think that's more your gift is you're you're tapping into something that you, you haven't had a platform for now perhaps with a team we can all help each other sort of get where we want to go mm -hmm. yeah oh just want to get i just want to do that that's for sure i think that's great i think everybody's excited and everyone know like said yeah kind of develop developing within each other like a natural intelligence which i really i enjoyed hearing that word that's cool two words mm. Not at the end of the meeting last time yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was like that natural intelligence exactly mm -hmm. definitely how do you want to use the the uh, infometrix new paradigm toolkit in in your shop in the in the physical space like how would you how do you I actually want to, well, there's quite a few different things that I, I have quite a few different ideas, but also, yeah, for one, selling the card sets, um, basically having like a physical thing to go through starting at my, in the, in the parking lot at the decision point and then different questions to ask. And then like I have, my like a little kind of clipboard or whatever not a clipboard but like a, a um you know one of those big boards <laughs> when it's not raining i have to do it i guess when it's not raining but uh, take people through the maps get them to find out what path they're on and then show them you know have them choose um in the different time timing um what uh yeah just get themselves organized really um where am I, where's my maybe you could that? maybe you could explain the three maps in front of your store jordan do you know the the maps that are painted in front of lara's store no 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 okay so i have a um decision point and around the decision point there's your your needs your wants and your desires right so differ, differentiating between um your needs your wants and your desires knowing which ones um are which because a lot of times you're trying to go for you're trying you're wanting things when it's actually um a need or vice versa or you know so there's differentiating between the difference between those three words and how um, and how they work and to get closer to your ultimate goals and desires. And then I've got three different parking spots. One is um, the seven learning paths. So it's uh, the path of suffering. Um, there's a whole bunch of them, there's seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I have seen that, that map before. I'm, I'm okay. Have you I'm forgot like, oh, your paths? In order. <laughs> um, and then um, in the middle, I have the five communication spaces. So the personal space and the uh, group space and the um, sacred space and all those ones. And then on the in my third parking spot, which is the super du super duper conscious area, is the times translator is in there. So, um, yeah, so they're labeled in unconscious, conscious, and, and super duper conscious. And so Elijah and I keep adding to it here and there as well. And that can also, and then I have a yellow brick road. So, um, yeah, so basically, um, yeah, wanting to get people to go, to go through the maps and go on their own little journey and um, fulfilling their dreams in a more logical and uh, um, yeah, more of a foolproof way in an organized way. Making your, getting your hearts to make decisions as well. Hmm. Have, have you yeah. been hosting? I've even that? asking like, what would your heart choose? Like, like in, at this decision point, right? 
and then like get people to turn the page or whatever, stop and choose, <clears throat> see me for the next step, spin a wheel, um, walk the yellow brick road and think of things, get your, your goals in place, your lifetime goals, your weekly goals, your monthly goals, all that. And then I also wanted to have a space in my store where I can um, make people's dreams come true. So yeah, that. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, I think it's how, easier. more people if we know what the dreams are. I think it's way more easier for them to be manifested and to actually uh, come true. So I was actually thinking if people told me what their dreams are, then I can either reenact them in a in um, yeah actually make them come true by making a video of that you know happening. It's a little bit of satire. Like maybe maybe my dog could be like the girl of your dreams or something like that, you know, but, and then you wear a wig and I'm like, oh, you know, and make their dreams actually come true so they can actually visualize it, right? I don't know, that's, that's one of my other <clears throat> side product, side projects that's not really, yeah. But basically, oh, and then also to do, um, to get people sitting around the wheel doing synergy wheels and doing harmonizers and stuff like that, so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what is the what is the shop um what is your shop basically it's the spinning it's a uh it's a, an imagination station and it's a boutique so in the boutique it's all handmade locally made upcycled mindfully mended lovingly laundered artfully altered and um some vintage things as well and then i have um an imagination station and basically a big tableware I have a whole bunch of different crafts projects and I do crafts with people and play games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's like a, it's a big communication space. Like it's a, it's a place where a lot of people come in and talk about their emotions. And I give a lot of feedback with emotional intelligence and how to, um, how to really feel and understand how they're feeling and, um, I hold a lot of space for people and it's quite it's quite amazing what what happens every day sometimes people just come in and puke on my floor not really energetically i mean <laughs> and i'm like oh great now i gotta clean all this up but i gotta yeah always come from a good space um and have the energy for it it's hard when i'm not able to find a home yet and stuff that's kind of making things a little bit difficult but um yeah, but basically, I, I really want to, um, I really want to help create a big shift and um, a new way of being fully a, a human and showing people how what it's like to be fully in a, a whole human um, and live within the right values and stuff like that as well. Like everything in my store is upcycled. It's every, everything is locally made, and it it all is supporting someone local and is doing good things, right? Eventually, I'd like to have like a full on community space where we can really meet each other's needs by like having like a freezer where there'd be good cooked meals there for people. There'd be you know like just a whole sharing everything space um, and and helping each other out. We're really working together and knowing how to work in a community. Basically, I just want to, I want to lead by example. And so I really want to, to make it happen so that I can lead by example so that I could show other people how simple it can be to work together and actually get stuff, get stuff moving and shaking without, um, without the big doom of uh, this one, one way reality that is we've been working on this totally masculine dominated thing that we've been doing for a long time so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. we're so unique all as humans so we really need to to utilize these gifts instead of suppressing all our crap all the time and suppressing our emotions which is making it like just causing way too much disease in the world it's ridiculous so yeah that's my take on it all Oh, my dog snoring. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That's about it. I think. I'm really, I'm really intrigued with uh, like having that energy, like at basically present everywhere, like a unified energy of of how that is just like a, a generous community, like housing, safety, and security and support in in many different ways, um, mm -hmm. and then also how the face of that change, like having multiple facilities, but having like one anchored vibration that that is consistent in every field but the culture it, it adapts to the culture of like where you place certain certain spaces who arrives is different and the culture changes basically almost like when you're walking through a mall and there's like very tailored um, culture in this block and then the next block is a different one I'm really excited to um, you know maintain that consistency core but then also tend to very different very different cultures and and have kind of extend that the unity and oneness through um kind of celebrating the differences almost like planets like celebrating the different planets of people of cultures i like that yeah i'm a professional belly dancer so it was funny that you say that because yesterday i explained um while we were drinking like mushroom vodka that we infused a month ago it was pretty intense but um I ended up explaining to him like all of the different cultures and different spots from the Middle East and where different dancing comes from and this type of dance comes from and whatnot so it's like yeah it's so interesting for people to just know and understand what what each other are really what we're about um oh, there's a kitty um because a lot of people don't know that like when I you take something for like belly dancing for an example and then you come over here to the Western world and it's like, what? You would never, you would never dance like that to that kind of music. That's like, you know, this music is from the heart. This is like, oh, like everyone's like, you know, like in full emotion music, right? Like you don't twerk to that or whatever. Right? Like it's like, it, that doesn't, it's not in the culture there. And it's not, it's totally like, oh, like it's, it's disrespectful I find, right? So it's like, yeah, things like that. It's good. To know where people are coming from and what <clears throat> what the different cultures are for sure yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i yeah it's it, being able to train that adaptability i think you know and and you know when you're walking into a room and you stop before you enter the room and like assess what is the you know what is the yeah. energy the protocol here and so you know and and having that awareness you know and offering that respect to the space mm -hmm. yeah and definitely. I, I find in businesses and services when you know when it's like i go to a cafe and i want to sit and i want to be in a social space and um it's kind of the anchor point is that there's an exchange of of money in terms of i'm buying i'm purchasing the coffee and then i get to like sit in the space but it would be great like if I could, you know, if it wasn't so much, if the currency was more like respect and and support for one another. And that was actually, you know, it's like leave the space better than you found it. And everybody's like bringing something to enrich the space, be it like lighting or sound or food or games or what, however people want to interact with the spaces and not mm -hmm. be like much about financial exchanges in, uh, as the anchor point, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it should be more of like i i totally agree it should be more of a it's just so linear linear and mundane <laughs> so like yeah just the way we do things it's not there's no creativity in it right like it's, it's really, yeah everything's the same but yeah so much that would be so like i think that'd be so valuable to have um to have that like labeled out in the, before you walk into a space or yeah it'd be good mm -hmm. well interesting yeah totally for just extra awareness like to make it really yeah i mean i, I think, think it's, it's almost like a training course understand. before you use the before What's that? you it's only like a, you gotta go through like a training course before you you know and that's kind of the thing instead like you're reading the menu of what you want to order but instead of like you come in and everything's free but the menu that you read before you enter is like just 
natural considerations like <laughs> have you checked have you checked this what is the flow like what how you know are you coming in too hot in your energy and do you need to like chill out or you know something basically like a map of how you can arrive at not telling you what to do but telling you how to listen you know or expressing how to listen you know and mm -hmm. that can be portrayed differently from culture region to culture based on how they would portray mm -hmm. the consistent consistency vibration that we want to maintain mm -hmm. i like that mm -hmm. or i was even thinking like <clears throat> kind of like a little bit of a like adding a little bit of a coffee shop kind of thing for my store but kind of have it so that people can actually use their own intuition but really explain what the properties of all the medicine and all the teas mean and and then so they can kind of like so they can check in with themselves and see what uh what would be good for their personally for, for their body and like yeah kind of like a shared kind of thing but yeah that's kind of down the road thing probably and then i'll be doing that one <laughs> So just getting back to tomorrow's meeting mm -hmm. and the sort of scope of what we'd like to get done and uh, the energy we want to have sort of coming in, as you're saying, like, how do you want to start it? Um, I'll make some sort of like uh, upgrade the invitation tomorrow and send them the, pat the configuration that's come through so people know ahead of time. And uh, I'll come up with a preliminary map for the meeting using the session planner and i'll send it to you guys okay and then if you if, if you like it then we'll send it to the rest of the guys and we can see if we can get into that type of habit of getting somebody coming up with a plan send it to the others if they like it if you want to add something and then send it back and then send it out to who's coming so i'll <laughs> i'll get that done in the morning or i'll get that done as soon as i can cool okay yeah. sounds good and i'll be on it with the feedback yeah for, for that okay I so i want to sorry i think the ikigai one will be a good one for the first uh, like homework piece so that we okay. can assemble the box but in that case it's like that will be like over the next week from this sunday to the next sunday we want to accomplish that and make sure that's present at the okay in files yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah, i agree with that Mm -hmm. anything else because i i think I'd, I'd like to have the meeting come to an end um is there anything we only have a minute. it says time meeting remaining time and one minute and 43 seconds anyway yeah it's coming down and I... is everyone okay with that yeah yeah yep. it's not good. okay uh so thank you this is another uh, step in the process of uh learning how to work together and I'm, I'm glad to see you two in here. I think this this trinity is is quite an interesting one to remind is, is the fourth in terms of being the uh, facilitator or communication officer, uh, but he didn't make it to this meeting. So, but I think, you know, you two have to get to know each other and um, it's good to see you working here. Great, yeah. yeah. Awesome, sounds like there's lots of like great potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah excited to unfold and see what you know see what magical pathways we take to or sure. to the best party that the world I've ever seen before there mm -hmm. we go there we go mm -hmm. good aim for it. okay so I'll see, I'll see you guys tomorrow and I look forward to seeing everybody at four o'clock all right okay